Hey guys, and welcome back to Vlogs and Frogs. My name is Ryan Peterson, for those of you who don't know, and today we're gonna learn about Silly Sally the Super Salamander. Look at that cutie. Oh my goodness, look at that face. Look how absolutely adorable. Look at this. This is Silly Sally, Silly Sally the Super Two Line Salamander. Isn't that an absolute cutie? What am I waiting for? Let's go learn about this cutie. All right, guys. Well, these adorable little Sallies are quite small critters. They range in size from two and a half to about four and a half inches in length. They come in a small variety of colors. They can be yellow, brown, tan, orange, and even bronzish, with these two black lines running along the sides of their body, beginning around the eyes and running down all the way to their tail. Their backs are speckled with tiny black spots. They have a fairly narrow body that have somewhere between 13 and 16 coastal grooves on them. Now, you're probably thinking, what the heck are coastal grooves? Well, these are specialized features on amphibians that help them to absorb water into their body easier. Amphibians need to stay wet to help them breathe and to keep from dehydrating. They have the ability to absorb oxygen through their skin and those coastal grooves help them absorb oxygen and water. A real two-party right there. <laughs> Anyways, as males reach adulthood, they develop these special features called cirri. They are these small downward projections in front of their nostrils that are believed to play a big role in chemoreception. Chemoreception is how animals take in and respond to chemical stimuli in their environment. Kind of like being able to recognize a female by the pheromones she emits when she's ready to make some babies. Now, if you're ever out searching, you can find these little things all over the southeast United States, starting at about the middle of Indiana and Ohio, going to the east coast all the way down to northern parts of Florida. They aren't found very deep into Florida, probably because Florida is scary. Being amphibious, they will mostly be found in or near bodies of water. However, they don't need a huge lake. They will thrive in just a small stream flowing off of bigger bodies of water. And that's exactly where we found these cuties. They favor those moist environments like forests, choosing to be in or near the streams, ponds, creeks, and even big bodies like rivers. They'll be holding out under rocks, leaf litter, big logs, small logs, all of the logs. If it's dark and moist, they'll eat it up, kind of like their favorite Airbnb. Now, they do spend most of their time under logs or other debris to shelter in from the scary world. On damp nights, they will often come out to forage across the forest floor. They are opportunistic predators, and they'll basically eat whatever small organisms they can find. They'll eat crustaceans, mollusks, and little insects. When they are fully grown, they'll even eat millipedes, snails, beetles, ticks, earthworms, and varying isopods. Kind of like the roly-poly. They do have to watch their back for their own set of predators, though, which includes birds, fish, garter snakes, ringneck snakes, crayfish, and even other salamanders. When they are attacked, their main form of defense is what's called caudal autonomy. Now, this is where they can drop their tails from their body. Now, the muscle will still trigger making the tail flip and flop, which is absolutely insane in itself and kind of disgusting in my opinion but props to you that's a cool skill another example that you've seen that you may have heard of or even seen with your own eyes are leopard geckos they also present pos they also possess this very cool and very creepy ability caudal autonomy gross anyways aren't they just adorable and there's always more to learn, so go dive in and tell us what else you learn. Because there's always so much to learn. The world is full of power. Because knowledge is power. Anyways, uh, bye guys. We love you all. Get outside and give them cuties some love. If you can find them. <laughs>